Welcome back to the channel. We're back here in the beautiful world of Scrap Mechanic, and today we've got even more awesome, awesome creations to look at. So today we're gonna go ahead and just go right into it and start with this dancing banana by Loop the Great. Uh, he says he's truly gone crazy with this build, and I think that he's probably correct. <laughs> Look at the mouth and everything unfolds, the arms, the eyes. Guys, this is the, the banana from uh, Peanut Butter Jelly Time. So, uh, everybody, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, guys, hold on, one sec. Right. Let's just, did I just, did I just do it? Did I just literally, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, get back down there. Alright, you turned him the wrong way. There we go. Alright, here we go. There we go. Look at him dance. Look at him. Look at him standing up. Oh yeah, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. Look at him. Beautiful banana. Big old beautiful banana. His name is Dancing Banana, and he is here to dance. Guys, everybody sing with me. Peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> Look at him. He doesn't do anything with that. And transform in a very epic way. What the heck, man? He said he's truly gone crazy. And uh, I'm inclined to believe him. Look at how it folds up. And that little thing. Uh, I can't believe this guy. The way he does things is just truly amazing. He makes it unfold to stand up while the legs unfold. And it's like perfect timing. And then that folds up. It's perfect timing so it rocks back. Watch. Ready? Boom. Ready? Okay, there goes the legs. And now it's starting to rock back because of the weight. And it folds up. Freaking absolutely amazing. Not only is it da 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 dancing banana, but it's also, uh, it transforms the most epic way. So welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today, let's go ahead and look at a couple things here. Is that a mod of some kind? Whoops, did I? Oh, I downloaded a mod. Don't look at it. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Swagster Hoops by Wanderbot. I didn't even notice. Wanderbot's a YouTuber. Let's check them out. Yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, ooh. It's like a big, it's like a big unicycle. Da, 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 da. Look at how the wheel turns. Ooh, nice. I get some nice action on that wheel. So everyone always uh, comments and says that uh, whenever I show a unicycle thing, they say that Miola made it, but he he wasn't the first person to make a unicycle, guys. Uh, there was a guy. He's a very very small YouTuber, and I think he was actually the first person who discovered the suspension glitch. Uh, Dude, this thing is cool. So props to that guy, because he kind of set off a whole... Or somebody would have found it. Somebody else would have found it eventually, but... I mean, he kind of set off a whole, like, chain reaction of sorts. Dude, this thing is crazy. It's insane. Look at how fast it is. I love how this thing turns. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Look at it turning. Oh, gosh. I broke it. No, I didn't. Just kidding. Oh, look. So, if you just do this, it spins on a dime. <laughs> if you just do that. Okay, let's uh, set up. Alright, set up. Alright, set up. Set up. Okay. 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 Shh. But then if you give it a little bit of gas and then do it, it kind of goes like this. Oh, anybody getting sick yet? Not really, though. You shouldn't be getting... Oh! Oh! Skills, baby! Skills! <laughs> yeah, it's awesome! That's freaking great! This is the, dude, this is the best ever right here. I don't want to hit any button because I don't want to ruin this. This is like, I'm like a break dancer, guys. Break dancing all day. Oh, break dancing all day! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And then it just writes itself. Dude, this thing is so freaking fast. And it's a, it's a climber too. Cool, that's a really cool creation. All right, on to the next thing. What's up on the on the, the next thing on the docket today? I'm gonna save that plane for last. The smoothest car by Stamp Sight. A car that is pretty fast and very smooth to drive. Smooth car jazz will be deployed. I don't know quite what that smooth car thing was about. Let's check it out. We'll see what we got going on here. So he's got a. What are these gray things? Oh, horns. I've never seen that before in the, in this. Oh, so it's just using like uh, gas. Like, is it a gas bar thing? 
Yeah, to keep it like at a specific uh, kind of uh, angle and degree and torque and stuff. Yeah, see how it kind of like spins before it even starts? Oh, it's definitely smooth. Oh, it's, oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. I wonder, are the stop signs there for a reason or just to add a cool look as you're driving? Is it there for weight or something? You gotta let off the gas so when you go over things. Yo, this car is pretty smooth actually. But like if you go up over anything, let's put it to the test. What? Why is there a, yo, this thing climbs rocks really well actually. Why is there, what's this mech doing here? What? This is something I showed in a previous build. Uh, okay. It must have flown off and then it was just sitting there. Wonder what else is on this world? Oh, there's two seats in this. Yo, give me that smooth jazz. Oh yeah. Smooth jazz, baby. Welcome to 99.9, the, the breeze. <laughs> they, if anybody's seen uh, Psych, like, Play a name, Gus. <laughs> oh, I hope somebody knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, this car is really smooth, actually. Love how it takes those jumps, but you gotta love the gas, though. So it's smooth pretty much all the way up until there. Yo, let's turn it around and go over this. I like the look of this car, too. It's very unique, I think. The Independence is bad suspension. Yeah, I mean, this thing is very unique looking. You know what I mean? Like, you don't usually see kind of builds like this. And I mean, some things are on there just for aesthetic purposes, like this front part is angled. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it a lot. And if you can manage to go, if you can manage to kind of get up, get up a rack, it uh, it works pretty well. Except for right there. But yeah, so that's that's not too, it's not too bad. This video might be a little shorter because I realize I'm rushing through things, but that's okay. Uh, this is by Moonbow. You know what? Let's go. It's not gonna be a good place for a. Not gonna be a good place for a, for a plane. So we're getting our mini flyer out here, which is by far the best creation. Still, stand by it. Best thing I've ever found. Here we go. We'll go right over here. This thing is literally like heaven sent in terms of getting around the map. I'm sorry if you disagree, but I, I firmly believe it, and I will claim that every time I use it. This is truly, absolutely amazing. Okay, time for the plane. There's no, there are no instructions for this thing. Can't tell if that's good or bad. We'll find out if this thing is good via the intact test, which basically states that if I can drive, if I can fly the thing, then it's good. If I can't fly it, then I am bad at the game. Basically. Oh, look at that. That's cool, man. That that moves. Okay, what's this do? One. Oh yeah, Red Baron. Three is vertical takeoff, I think. Two is forward thrust. Four is back. Five is side. Six is that side. Seven. What's seven do? It's it's backwards thrust somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. I don't see it anywhere. Okay. So it's turning slightly. How do I get it up? What do I do? Give me directions, man. Do you see who I am? I need directions. I don't know how to fly anything. I need your guidance. Good sir. Can I get in that thing? Dang it. I just want to get in. I want to get in. It's too high. Okay. That's most likely... Wait a minute. What's this do? It's a, it's a stepping stone. Okay, it's good. Be good to know that. Four and five. Oh, that's a roll. Six is that one. Seven is back thrust. Eight and nine. 
eight. Okay. I think we do eight. Three. No, oh, that's not doing anything. Here we go. We're up. We're up. Oh, I took it off. I hit the wrong button. Roll the other way. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad at flying things. This is a glorious plane, if you can't tell. All I'm trying to do right now is stabilize this thing. There we go. Roll it. I don't understand. It's like it doesn't have enough forward thrust to get the thing going. Okay, there we go. There we go. We got it. Alright. Alright. What the heck, man? I don't understand. This is not how it flies. <laughs> it's supposed to fly. That's working. Oh yeah, real style, baby. Believe it. Guys, I give up. Welcome, welcome back to the, the land of derpiness and the world of make-believe. And that make-believe thing is that I can actually fly something easily in this game because I can't and I'm horrible at it. But look, you can fly this thing. It's the most amazing creation ever made in this game. So yeah, I don't know. Thanks for watching. It makes me sad when I can't, it really makes me sad when I can't fly things. And it makes me even more sad because I know you guys probably think I'm an idiot <laughs> because I can't hit buttons. But I swear it's not my fault. I'm not good at hitting, I, it wasn't, I never played World of, I never played WoW, okay? I didn't have to push buttons all the time or something. I'm not that kind of guy. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.